Hi, Elaine here from MarkerGeek.com. I've got a really quick Stamping Bella card for you today. Um, my card features one of the adorable dragons from the set of dragons stamp set that was released last year and one of the sentiments from the dragon sentiment set that was released at the same time. Since I was a kid, I've loved all things fantasy, particularly dragons and wizards, etc. So you know that I was delighted when this stamp set was released, um, along with the sentiments. Um, I wanted to make a really quick and simple card today. So I used a masking technique to create a little background for my dragon. I stamped him on Bristol Strathmore Bristol smooth paper um, and masked him using eclipse masking tape. I then used some of the Thermoweb purple tape to mask a rectangular area around the dragon um, and then created an ink blended background using uh, Distress Oxide ink in Salty Ocean. And as you can see, I then used the spritzing technique to add some background effects to that and then used some Perfect Pearls with Water and a paintbrush to create some sparkly splatter. I found the purple tape worked really nicely for this as it has a coating on it. So unlike say the Eclipse masking tape or post-it tape, it holds up against moisture really nicely and I was able to wipe it clean afterwards so that I could save all those pieces ready to reuse on another project. As you can see, it removed really easily, didn't leave any residue behind and didn't pull up any of my paper, which was nice. I also didn't get any bleeding of the ink or water underneath it. Um, so I got a nice crisp outline to that ink re inked rectangle. As you can see, I colored the dragon using Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens. I didn't actually intend to do this when I started out. I was going to color him with Copic markers, um, but then I saw the Zigs sitting gathering dust uh, on my shelf and I thought mm, it was about time I had another go with them. I know a lot of people have been asking for more videos um, and posts using the Real Brush Pens. The Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens do work really nicely on this Strathmore Bristol Smooth Surface Paper. I mostly use them um, by using the pens to blend each other out. So I started off with my very darkest color and then progressed through to the lightest shade uh, that I had chosen to blend out the colors. Um, and I found that worked really nicely. One thing to bear in mind when using a water-based pen like the Zigs, uh, when, you've, when you've done a Distress Ink or Distress Oxide background, is that the Distress Oxides or the Distress Inks will still react with moisture. Um, so just be aware of that as you're colouring and be careful. If you're used to colouring um, with, say, Copic or other alcohol-based markers, you will find working with a water-based pen like the Zigs quite different. You can't really keep going back in and reworking areas in the same way that you would with, say, the Copic markers. Um, for one thing, because they're water-based, you will end up pilling your paper and sort of destroying the surface of your paper if you go backwards and forwards too much. Also, when you're working using just the pens and no water um, to blend them, because they do tend to be quite vibrant colours, you will end up with quite strong, vibrant colour. It's difficult to achieve softer shades um, using this technique. As you will see, um, a little later on as I come to do the wings and then the um, other details on this dragon. I do end up reaching for a brush and some water and use a technique scribbling the pens onto an acrylic block and picking the colour up from there with the brush and a little water, um, which helps me to achieve a softer effect on some of the details. I do enjoy working with these pens, especially for um, smaller images. 
Uh, I don't tend to reach for them when I'm thinking of colouring something larger and I'm still not entirely comfortable with colouring character, like people character images um, using them. I haven't really found a good skin sort of combination that I'm really enamoured with. I have previously done a video and a post using a Stamping Bella, I think it was Thinking of You Bella image, um, where I coloured her with the Zig markers. Um, so you, if you have a look, you can see what I did there for a character image. But overall, so far, I definitely prefer them for colouring less um, realistic um, types of images or more cartoonish images. And that's all I have to say about the colouring. So I'll pop on a small amount of music and come back to you when the colouring is finished.
Once the colouring was finished, I gave it a quick blast with my heat gun just to make sure everything was dry. And um, then I decided that my panel was a little bit larger than I'd like. So I trimmed it down um, to about, I think it was 11 centimetres by 11, ready to go on a card front. And I created a card blank using some cardstock that I'm in love with from Paper Mill Direct here in the UK. It's a lovely sparkly black cardstock. I adhered my panel to the front of the card using Fabri-Tac glue. I then realised that my little dragon looked like he was floating in air, which wasn't quite what I was going for. So I grabbed a couple of grey zig markers and used them just to put in a little bit of ground and shadow just to make him look like he was actually sitting on something. <laughs> I then decided that my sentiment wasn't quite bold enough, so I took a Copic multi-liner in the 0.7 size and strengthened that up a bit. And that was that. The card was finished. I hope you've enjoyed joining me today. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more, and I will catch you next time.